why Sentinels can help you rank up and faster in Valorant. A lot of players when they want to rank up, pick Duelist. Now yes, if you do have good aim and you are new to the game, it's probably the right pick for you. Duelists unlock your full potential aim-wise and it's definitely the fast way to rank up if you're like an XCS player or something. However, for those hard stuck silvers or golds, a sentinel can actually be better. And here's 5 reasons why. Number 1. It's easy to improve in. Being a duelist requires you to be good at your aim and movement. Now, yes, you can improve at those things really fast, but it's much more efficient to not only improve your aim and movement, but also learn your setups and timings. For example, my first agent main was Cypher, and I searched up these setup videos on YouTube. Gosu Peak being one of the most popular search channels um, when it comes to these things. And within like an hour or something of just memorizing these setups on some of the different maps, I got way better in games. So many free kills just due to setups, one ways, and just playing off your abilities. The same thing could be said about any other sentinel. Killjoy, for example, allows you to play out the bomb because you have a lineup, for example. You can also set up some nasty wall setups too for Sage. And in my opinion, sentinels overall have the highest skill cap when it comes to abilities. In general, learning and mastering high skill ceiling agents are generally an amazing way to boost your rank. The second reason why playing Sentinels can help you rank up more is that it makes you work on your timing so much more. With Cypher for example, you kind of find when it's best to activate a cage or a peak. As a Sentinel, you're helping out by looking out for flanks, lurking, gathering info. These three things make you a much smarter player when you get good with them. For example, placing some trips and lurking makes you more aware of what's going on throughout the map and making you and your team able to make better decisions, when to rotate, stuff like that. If you're on a send for example and you have full mid control as well as some trips in B main, you can say to your team, hey, um, we've got full control, let's push A. It's things like that that make playing a duelist every round just not as good for learning as a sentinel because a duelist, yeah, you can just lead, push, and aim well, nice. If you don't aim well, well, oh well. But as a sentinel, you can not only gather info for your team, play off your setups, and have a good aim, that's basically a win-win-win, and you're going to level up way faster, or um, sorry, rank up way faster if you're constantly improving your setups, your timing, and your aim. Finally, playing sentinels allow you to spot setups from enemy sentinels. For example, if you know some popular cage one ways, you might avoid pushing these areas where there's a lot of cages or you might pre-aim a trip even though you don't even know it's there because you just know the cypher setup. If you know some common KJ alarm bot or turret setups, you may juggle peek it before going in. You also know the timing of sentinels such as when a KJ will throw down a molly or when a cypher will trigger a cage. Maybe get to chambers teleport before he does. It's all of these things that make playing the sentinel so much better for your game sense in the long run. If you combine this with watching some setup videos, it'll surely make you a better player than just auto locking chat all the time. Plus, hey, that's one less way to trigger your team. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day.